Okay, so I just wanted to show you what I picked up from the Dollar Tree and Walmart to set up my VIP kid teacher classroom background. So majority of the items I got were from the Dollar Tree with the exception of two items and that is these two items right here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you this item from the Dollar Tree. It's just a science project board trifold board one dollar and this is going to be the background that I use to set up behind me when I go to do the online interview and to do my first few lessons um, in the with my virtual classroom so I'm just starting with this but if I keep going and get involved with it then I will go from there but for now I just wanted to show you um, what I got to spend a few dollars to set up the background. So this was from the Dollar Tree. And then the two items that I got were um, from Walmart were, was this pom-pom garland. It was a multicolored garland. I believe it was right around $3. And I got this orange t-shirt. So I got this to wear while teaching the online classes and then this to kind of decorate my board with. These two items came from Walmart. Everything else came from the Dollar Tree. So moving on with all of the Dollar Tree items, I will show you I got two card decks here. One is letters and one is just the first words, flashcards. I just thought that these would be really great to use as examples, um, as props when teaching. I got um, a package of these word strips from the Dollar Tree, and this was a multicolored one. I really liked the color scheme with this one, so that's why I got it. It also looks like it has some solid colors in the back, and I just thought um, it would pair up really nicely with the banner. Um, I also got a pink border. This is my favorite color, so I just thought that this would be really good to have. I got a pocket chart from the Dollar Tree as well. I'm not really sure how I'm going to use this, but for a dollar you can't beat it. And then I got three packages of the sight words and they are basically like some easy words like apple, baby, bounce, which are like the verbs. And then I got some classroom labels as well, um, backpack. And there's like a list of all of the words that are in here uh, for each one. I don't know if I'm going to use these, but I just thought that they would be handy to have. Um, if not, my kids can use these. I have some of my, um, my twins are actually learning how to read, so these would be great for them if I don't end up using them. Then I got a package of these punched out letters. I could easily make letters on my silhouette or my Cricut, but these were already done and I just thought orange being their color would be a great um, you know, thing to have. You can't beat it for a dollar and you get a lot of letters in this actual size. So I will show you how I plan to use those. Then I got a map of the United States. This is a pretty large map. Um, it's bigger than I actually wanted because it's almost the size of my entire poster. It's 40 by 28. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use this in the backdrop. I might, we'll see how it goes. I do know a lot of VIP kid teachers use this um, as part of their background. And so I just picked up one so I could have one. It is not a map of the world. I would like to have a map of the world, but um, they didn't have one, they just had the United States. So I picked that up. And then lastly, I picked up, um, actually I have two more things. I picked up this tablecloth and it's just like a fabric-y, but not like super durable um, fabric, uh, flannel backing tablecloth. I'm gonna use this as the background color on my board, which I will show you in just a minute how I plan to use that. And then lastly, they had these educational posters. Um, this one has the colors and the shapes, and it looked like it had some alphabet in there as well. So I picked these up for some props. Not sure if these will be used or not, but again, for a dollar, you can't beat it. And then I picked up a small, tiny dry erase board that comes with a marker and an eraser tip. Um, I've seen in some videos where a lot of VIP kid teachers are using these, so I just picked one up. So all in all, I spent about $15, hardly, and I have a lot of things to create my backdrop. 
So I'm going to um, get started and show you how I'm going to create my backdrop. I opted to do three pieces of foam board to make a larger science board. Here's the foam board hanging on a clothes rack. And here's my virtual classroom setup. Here's a look of my recent updated metal background for my classroom. 